Je donne à présent la parole à la représentante du Ghana. Thank you, Mr. President. Ghana joins previous speakers in thanking the Côte d'Ivoire Presidency of the Security Council for convening this high-level meeting on the role of states, regional arrangements, and the United Nations in the prevention and resolution of conflicts, a theme that is at the very heart of the United Nations Charter. We all have a primary responsibility as member states to pursue individually and collectively the overriding moral, political, and humanitarian imperative of preventing the outbreak, continuation, escalation, or relapse into conflict. The complex, multidimensional, and transboundary nature of conflicts today, as well as new and emerging threats to peace and security, call for enhancing strategic and operational partnerships between the United Nations and regional organizations. As implied under Chapter 8 of the Charter, the responsibility for peace and security must be a shared one, and the success of our joint efforts will depend to a large extent on our political commitment to more effective use of the tools provided in the Charter under regional and sub-regional arrangements. Mr. President, joint collaborative efforts between the UN and regional and sub-regional arrangements have proven successful in conflict prevention and resolution. Your own esteemed country, Cote d'Ivoire, is a glowing example of such successful outcomes. They have been particularly instrumental in dealing with difficult political transitions, diffusing tensions and encouraging political dialogues ahead of highly contentious elections, resolving electoral crises and ending political deadlocks. The conclusion in April 2017 of the joint UN-AU framework for enhanced partnership for peace and security is therefore a welcome development. The joint framework offers a platform for regular consultations, joint horizon scanning, joint assessment and good offices missions, joint similar messaging and mutual capacity enhancement towards conflict prevention and resolution in Africa. The MOU between the African Union and the Peace Building Support Office of the UN, together with the AU's post-conflict reconstruction and development policy, will foster collaborative actions that are critical for sustaining peace. It is my delegation's hope that these initiatives will benefit from greater support from member states in order to ensure maximum benefits for peace building. In a similar vein, the UN's multifaceted engagement and partnership with ECOWAS has effectively made the sub-regional body a vital partner in the areas of conflict prevention, mediation, and resolution, as well as in peace building and strengthening of regional capacities. We call for the strengthening of this partnership through regular thematic intergovernmental dialogues on critical areas for the West Africa sub-region. Mr. President, cooperation between the UN, regional arrangements, and member states in the maintenance of peace and security has been more pronounced in the area of peacekeeping. Member states, particularly troop and police contributing countries, are important stakeholders in peacekeeping. And we welcome in this regard the Secretary General's Action for Peace initiative that is aimed at enhancing partnerships and efficiencies in this important pillar. Burden sharing is paramount for success, and we wish to add our voice to calls for enhancing the predictability, sustainability, and flexibility of finance for AU-led peace support operations authorized by the Security Council. My delegation also wishes to use this opportunity to call for greater harmonization of standards between the United Nations and regional and sub-regional organizations as a way of improving transitions from regional operations to UN supervised missions. An increased systematic coordination and consultation on policies, guidance, and training standards would ensure coherence in all phases from planning to drawdown of operations. In conclusion, Mr. President, we wish to stress the importance of fostering political dialogue 
national reconciliation, democratic governance, justice and accountability, respect for human rights and the rule of law in the maintenance of international peace and security. A comprehensive approach to sustaining peace must include sustainable development with inclusiveness at the heart of our efforts. I thank you, Mr. President. Je remercie la représentante du Ghana.